So tell me a little bit about what your job entails doing the wardrobe for Miss California. Okay, basically I'm the one that goes shopping with her. Fun. I get to go shopping, my favorite thing to do. And uh, select her clothing for competition for Miss America. Wow, sounds like a high stress job. Is it stressful at You times? know what? Um, for me, it's just been great fun. Just great mm -hmm. fun. It oh, has. that's great it to has. hear. Yeah. Okay, well, I want you to give me some of your wardrobe advice. So let's go okay. into my closet. Okay. So I have some dresses that I've pulled out. Um, and next week, I'm getting ready to talk at the city council. Mm. What type of dress would be appropriate for sort of a city event like that? Okay. Um... First of all, I would probably ask you, out of the selection, what would be your favorite? But since you asked me first, <laughs> <laughs> I would probably go with something a little more conservative. Okay. But yet today, I like this one. You like this yellow mm -hmm. one. And how important is color when you're picking wardrobe? Absolutely. Well, it's very important because you want it to enhance your skin color, your 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 eyes, mm -hmm. your everything about you. You want this it. This one's pretty bright. This one you got. I like it. <laughs> mm -hmm. And that's something I've also noticed with the interview portion. This was a suit that I wore in high school when I competed, <laughs> and up until recently, this used to be pretty much absolutely, typical. absolutely nobody wears suits anymore. Why no, do you think that is? I think it's just the trend of the way the world is today. Don't you? I mean, I. You know, I mean, they would never wear something sleeveless, mm -hmm. you know, up until, what, about two years ago. It was always the suit. What do you think? Uh, I still love suits. I think they're business, and I just like them, mm -hmm. but that's not what they wear today. Yeah, and I think wearing a dress or something more today it just makes us more relatable. Absolutely. Like, what, this is what something I would wear to a job interview. This, probably not so much no, anymore. No, no. All right, and what um, what's your thought on accessories? I think accessories, less is better. That's just, but that's my personal opinion. Mm -hmm. I would always ask, if I were helping you, I'd say, what are you comfortable with? And then if I, you show me something and I think it's overdone, I would just kind of say, well, maybe that's a tad bit over the, you know, line, and just give you a suggestion that way. The important thing is that you feel good, whichever function you're going to or where you're competing, that, mm -hmm. that the contestant that the Miss title holder feels good in what she's wearing, so she'll represent herself well. That's the most important thing. They used to say a girl could go out in a gunny sack and compete in gown, and if she felt like a 10 in it, she might get a 10, or she could get a 10 from the judges. It's all how you present yourself. It is true, that's more than the dress. I can see a beautiful gown on a gal that doesn't come out and present it well, and she's not gonna score well, because mm -hmm. it isn't the gown that you're judging, it's that girl in the gown. Okay, so it's really true. It's not what you're wearing, but Abs how you wear it. Absolutely. That, uh, exclamation point. Exclamation <laughs> point. Well, thanks so much for your time, sure, Nikki. Sure, sure. What makes the Miss America organization so special is its long-standing commitment to scholarship. Last year, they provided over $45 million in academic scholarship, making them the world's largest provider of scholarship assistance for young women. Now, let me break down the competition. There are five phases. Talent, interview, physical fitness, evening wear, and onstage question. Once you compete at a local level, the local title holder then competes at the state level. From there, the state title holders compete at the national level, and that's where one lucky lady is crowned Miss America. I sat down with this year's first runner-up to Miss America. She's Miss California, Christy Cavender. Thank you. So what got you started competing? Well, a lot, I get asked that question a lot. Yeah. A lot of people said, did you grow up in pageants? Yeah. Have you been doing this since you were two? No, I haven't. I started about two and a half years ago. I just wanted to enter pageants to get scholarship money and to have an opportunity to dance. So I did, and I ended up as a runner-up. And then last year went to Miss California, and this year came back to win. So I've now earned about $15,000 in college scholarship money. That's absolutely incredible, and that really speaks so much about the pageant system. I think many people don't understand that it's not just about the crown, and you're, I'm sure you're a perfect testament to that. What keeps you going through the pageants? What are you gaining from that? I guess when I first started, it was just for those reasons, for scholarship mm -hmm. and for dance money. And then after I participated in it, I really realized how much pageants were changing me, how I was becoming a more poised, a more confident, a more intelligent young woman, how I was learning to better myself in every area of competition, and also the opportunity that came with wearing this crown. Because 
for me, it wasn't really about the crown, but it was about the year I would get to have while wearing the crown. I got the opportunity to go into schools, to go into hospitals, mm -hmm. to be able to speak to young children and to inspire them and to motivate them. So for me, that's really my motivation and that's what keeps me going. Mm -hmm. And another thing you're very active in is Children's Miracle Network Hospitals. Mm -hmm. You've been touring all across the state doing that. What's that been like for you? Well, Miss America Organization has partnered with the Children's Miracle Network and I love kids and I'm very interested in medicine. I want to be a pediatric heart surgeon. So when I became Miss California, it was one of my goals to go to all of the Children's Miracle Network hospitals in California because, like I said earlier, this is the one year that, because I have this crown on my head, I can say I want to go visit the Children's Hospital and they welcome me with open arms. Mm -hmm. So it's been an incredible experience to see the kids' faces light up and to get to try on my crown. I was in a children's hospital last week and no one wanted to try on my crown except a 14 year old boy Aww. named Guillermo and he just loved it. It just made his day and so for me to be able to do that and to give back to these kids and realize how lucky I am and how grateful mm -hmm. I am for where I am and the role of Miss California is just amazing. It's definitely the best part of my job getting to go to these hospitals. Absolutely. Yes. You're approachable. You're a title holder and a role model, but also you're personable. And I think that's really important to have in our community. Do you see the Miss America organization going in that direction? Absolutely. I think that was the type of title holder I want to be, the type mm -hmm. of Miss California I want to be, is a woman who can walk on stage in an evening gown or a swimsuit, who can hold a press conference style interview, but who's also the girl you want to invite home and talk to on your couch over, you know, some Starbucks. And I think that's what makes us great role models as far as being title holders in the Miss America organization is because we're real girls. Mm -hmm. We make mistakes. We trip up the stairs. We do all of those same things. And to be able to have that sense of realness that somebody else can relate with, I think, makes us even better role models and even more approachable to the general public. Definitely. So if you want to be part of the Miss America organization, getting involved is simple. If you're between the ages of 17 and 24, you can find a local pageant in your area to compete in by visiting your state's website or Miss America's website at www.missamerica.org. And even if you don't walk away with the crown, I can almost guarantee that you'll walk away with new friendships, more confidence, better public speaking skills, and memories of an experience you will never forget. I'm Rachel Berry. Thanks so much for watching and I hope you've enjoyed learning about life behind the crown.